All right, guys, we're ready to go to a full-size camera. We want to go to the theater, and we want to know what camera to use to do that. We're going to show you what we've been shooting and what we shot lately, and we shot it with a Sony, and we used um, a regular lens. We bought some other lenses. We have a whole bunch What's of lenses. What's the deal with cameras? Like, you always hear about Sony and Canon and all that, but I know there's, like, Fujifilm and Pentax and Olympus. Are those cameras the quality of oh, the yeah. Samsungs? And that Samsung that we have that's 4K... That is a magnificent camera. But it's just a little tiny little oh camera. Oh my god, so. if they made a full size camera and sent us one. <laughs> I'm sure was... some of these smaller companies, especially, probably have some type of an endorsement that they could do that yeah. they'll send you some. Oh, I would, I would definitely talk about it. Then, you know. I would definitely talk about it. But anyway, we need to know what the best camera for us is and what the budget is. Let's keep this this uh, post going. We're going to get a lot of feedback probably on liveleak.com and of course there's going to be a lot of trolls but we won't we won't pay attention yeah, to that. There's also guys on there that There's going to be a lot them. of really great information so I will leave a link on the YouTube channel and on the Facebook channel to the live leak because that's where it'll go. So anyway. Um, Can you use any any one of those lenses on any type of camera? We have, we have a Canon and I'll show you a picture of it. And we have a few lenses that go to it and some nice lenses. I don't know if they're great lenses. I don't think they're good enough to go to the theater by any means. And we have the Sony. Out of the and, trash into the theater. Yeah, and we have, a, we have a bunch of lenses to that. Yeah, look at the video out of the trash and into the theater. Steve and I shot that in a couple of days with no script, with whatever lighting we could put together, the wardrobe we put together, you know, with our junk. And I think it looks pretty damn good. So if that's what we could do with backyard knowledge, you know. Yeah, without, if you get a really good camera, then... Yeah, now Just we've built all these better. other rigs and we've learned so much more. You know, we started playing around with that rig Louie and I made, you know, with the rubber bands where you can jump up and down with it. And I chased Louie around the parking lot, you know, at kind of a fast walk. You should have seen these two. And we've got Domino's wardrobe done. I mean, we're, we're really to the point of getting things shot. We want to start shooting, but why should we shoot with the wrong camera? So anyway, that's our discussion tonight. We want to know what is the right camera to shoot a movie with today. And we want to go 4K, and we don't know, should we go mirrorless, should we go DSLR? That's why it'd be cool if some of these guys, like one of the smaller companies like Pentax or Olympus or whatever. They're not small companies. If, well, they're, I mean, yeah, yeah. You don't but they're not recognized. You don't hear, about, you don't you hear, don't hear about, them. about them like you do. So if any of those have like some kind of an endorsement where they'll send you some equipment to try out and like to review it after you've used it, oh, yeah. show what you can do with it, that'd be awesome. <laughs> Yeah, I would def I'll wear their shirt. We'll all wear their shirts. We'll wear their shirts every day. We'll put their name on our truck. That would be awesome. So anyway, let's talk about cameras in the comments today. Thanks, guys. Bye.